Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do an unboxing of a very small LED bulb that I just bought. We're gonna take a look inside the box, then we're gonna put it to the test and see how well this bulb will work. Uh, if you want to know more about the bulb, I will list uh, where I got it on Amazon. And uh, so ch check on the link below and then you can read about it yourself. So the box just came today. So here's what the bulb looks like. It's, uh, it looks like a pumpkin, so it's a very, very unique uh, LED bulb. And that's one of the reasons that attracted me to this bulb is because of uh, the shape and just, just odd looking. Okay, you got your user manual. And here is the bulb. Very interesting. And this is a, just a standard socket that will fit into any of your um, uh, standard US bulb holder. And it also comes with this little adapter, I guess, if you want to wire it yourself. So here's a pretty unique <laughs> looking bulb here. Let's hook this up and then we're going to grow something underneath this and see how well this works. All right guys, let's take a closer look at the LED bulb before we install it. And I actually counted the bulbs here and they have 48 LEDs. Pretty cool looking. I'm, I'm very impressed of uh, how light and compact this is and all these uh, little LED there. It looks really, really cool. And it comes with this just in case you want to uh, do the soldering yourself so that this can hook up to the standard socket if you don't have one. And here is the little instructions. So uh, here's some specs there. You can pause and take a look if you like. But uh, it's suggested that you put the light about 1.6 feet to 3.3 feet. So uh, there's a little diagram there. All right, so let's go hook this up and then we'll go grab some plants and then we'll, we'll plant this. All right, I have a designated area where I'm gonna put the light and this is where I'm gonna grow my plants. And this is basically a different hydroponic system that uh, you can, it comes with the same uh, adapter that this other bulb came with. And so it's already set up to go. It has that nice arm there so I can move up and down and adjust it. So uh, let's install a bulb. It's as simple as plug it in Twist it until it's tight. Look at that. Wow, It you hear that sound? It has sort of like a fan in there. So look how bright this is. So this arm here. So you can actually build a, a similar unit like this using PVC if you like. But um, mine already came this way, so yeah, very, very cool. So there, I'm gonna extend it down like that. Look at that cool little pumpkin there with this nice looking light here. So it's, it's very, very bright. Here's my other bulb that I've been using. Let's, let's hook it up and see. Look at that. You see this it, the light here is a little bit whiter. That one is a more of a pink LED. So, uh, but today we're focusing on that one there. So we're gonna go outside, grab a plant, and then we're gonna grow it hydroponically and see how well it does. So let's go do that. All right, guys, we are outside. It is now almost February, and I have this these seedlings here that are volunteer. This is the parent plant here, so the seeds dropped, and all of these little seedlings come up. I think that one's a little bit, that, I think this one may be a good candidate. This is romaine lettuce. And I have some of these red butterhead here. Those are my favorite. I may pick that one. And then I also have some tat soy. Those are good candidates also. And let's see what else, what else we have here. And I have these that are also very good candidate. Maybe I'll do this one because I, I love this variety of, of lettuce here. So let's dig that one up and uh, we'll take it inside and grow it. So try to 
not damage too much of the roots here kind of like work your way look at this this is the perfect candidate here okay so we'll we'll wash that off okay we'll we'll rinse off the, the roots real quick all right guys here it is this is the best uh, that i can do to clean up all of the dirt from the roots so let's take this inside and plant it under our light all right guys first we're going to mix our nutrients before we add the plant and this is the bucket that i'm going to use i have been using this for other stuff like peppers and stuff like that so that's why they, they have zip tie here because the pepper grows really tall and it just keep flipping over so this one is to keep it stationed so uh, because this is a recycle container that you may be wondering what those for and that one here that's for the air hole because uh, i do also propagation in here and that's why i have that so what you want to do is uh, mix your nutrients first and this is exactly one gallon and we are going to use this the dino series so for one gallon i'm going to use um five milliliter of this and then we're going to make sure that the ph is between 5.9 to 6.5 so let's go ahead and shake this up real quick and then we're going to add five milliliter and I have this unit here that is exactly five milliliter make sure it's nice and clean before you stick it into your nutrients so five milliliter is one of this okay so that's that's all we need now you want to stir it up to make sure everything is dispersed evenly and then we're going to check pH after that. So let's check this one here. This is sitting at 6.4. Okay, so I'll just add a few drops because I want it to be a little lower. Okay, and that's for one gallon that, that should take it down to about 5.9 somewhere. And you want to you want to make sure you wait a bit before you check your pH. Make sure everything is nice and settled. Okay, now that it's settled, so let's go ahead and check. So it's at about 6.1. Actually 6.0. So it's still it's still changing. That's perfect. That's good enough. And because we're doing cracky method we'll need a rock wool so we're gonna split this in half like this and then we'll get our plant and put it in and you want to sort of like measure you see here like when you measure the roots are here so you want your water slightly above the roots a little bit so make sure your your um, because these have developed roots already uh, you have to to do things a little different so you want it to be like uh, the roots have about an inch in water or an inch at the most in water um, but if the seedling is still young then you can have it touching the the, the, the rock wool here and it should be fine but if it has developed roots already you don't want to drown the roots so you want it right there that's where your level of water should be all right and then put this into here and there we go and then we're going to put this on and there it is that is our plant so let's go ahead and put it onto a light and uh, wait all right guys here it is there is my plant sitting under this new bulb that really cool looking pumpkin bulb so it's shining right down onto the plant i have it about a foot above the plant and uh, that should be enough but you can always raise it or lower uh, based on how the plants react if it if the plant is reaching that means you need to lower the light but if the plant is kind of like stressed out or kind of burnt or whatever it shouldn't burn because these led are very soft so um 
uh, it's not too stressful for the plant so if you want to grow two plants you can actually raise it a little bit more but all we need is one so there it is we will we'll be back and then when there's uh, progress and I will update you all right guys it has been two and a half weeks and the plant is doing really really well so it took a bit of time um, like four to five days or a little bit more than that for the plants to sort of like get adjusted to uh, the nutrients and, and the different method of growing it went from soil into hydroponic so when that happens the plant sort of like need to focus on on the, the energy on uh, developing new roots so that it can take up the the water nutrient uh, it's a little bit different than soil so there is a recovery period but uh, after two and a half weeks it's doing great so uh, let me show you the uh, the root system look at that this is the type of roots you would get when grown in hydroponic and once you see roots like this they will just start to take off so um, after the recovery period the plants are going to grow really fast so this is great progress after two weeks okay so here is the the view above the plant so the pumpkin light here is sitting about one and a half feet above the plant and uh it, it's been working great i mean i think you can probably grow two plants but i'm only testing one right now uh, after two weeks it's it's doing pretty pretty well so anyway the pumpkin light led uh, is working really well i will post all of the information for the light in the description below so you can check it out um, i really love the setup because it's very simple it's just like any other light bulb you just plug it into your light setup at home and it should work so um, if you have an existing light stand or whatever you can just use it and uh, plug it in like you would plug in a, a regular household bulb and you can grow a plant it's very very simple it's very bright so I would suggest you put this somewhere not at eye level and if you do put it eye level you may want to wear some protective uh, lenses to protect your eyes because this thing is very very bright so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and please read the description below because I will provide all the information about the grow the light setup and nutrient mix and everything like that anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe